Imagine a world where the very concept of disconnection is obsolete, where no matter how remote you are, whether deep in the Arctic tundra, atop a Himalayan peak, drifting in the vastness of the Pacific, or walking through a dense jungle, you're just as connected as someone in downtown Tokyo or New York City. In this vision of the future, the digital divide is not just bridged, it's eliminated. High-speed internet, once constrained by geography, infrastructure, and economics, becomes a universal utility as essential and accessible as air or water. This isn't science fiction anymore. This vision is accelerating toward reality. And at the forefront of this radical transformation is Huawei. Huawei, the global technology titan, is undertaking one of the most ambitious infrastructure projects in human history. The launch of a 10,000 satellite constellation and the creation of a space-based, AI-optimized 6G network. This initiative is not just about faster downloads or smoother video calls. It's about rewriting the rules of global connectivity, redefining digital sovereignty, and reshaping the geopolitical and economic foundations of our connected planet. This move doesn't just mark a technical upgrade, it signals a paradigm shift. Up until now, global communication networks have been grounded, relying on terrestrial towers, undersea cables, and region-specific infrastructure. This patchwork approach has left millions, if not billions, without access to reliable internet, especially in rural and underserved regions. Huawei's plan throws out the terrestrial playbook and replaces it with a celestial one, a space-based communication web that envelops the entire globe. These 10,000 satellites, each one engineered with next-generation propulsion systems, energy-efficient solar arrays, and advanced quantum-resistant encryption, are not simply orbiting relays. They are intelligent, adaptive nodes in a global neural network. Of the total fleet, 8,000 will operate in low Earth orbit, LEO, providing ultra-fast, low-latency coverage ideal for real-time applications like autonomous driving, immersive virtual reality, remote surgery, and mission-critical IoT systems. The remaining 2,000 satellites will be positioned in geostationary orbit, GEO, delivering wide-angle, long-range coverage that complements the agility of the LEO network. This dual-layered structure ensures that connectivity is not only constant and high-speed, but also highly adaptable to the demands of different regions, use cases, and emergencies. This vision directly challenges the current dominance of players like Starlink, Elon Musk's satellite internet venture which has already launched around 4,000 satellites and become a lifeline for communities in remote areas. Starlink's achievements are undeniable. It has proven that space-based internet can work at scale. But Huawei's entry into the satellite internet arena is more than competitive. It's disruptive, with more than double the number of satellites, enhanced hardware, more resilient network architecture, and artificial intelligence at the core of its system. Huawei isn't just participating in the race. It's trying to leap ahead and redefine the finish line. And this isn't just a battle over broadband. The stakes are far higher. In an era when digital infrastructure is closely linked to economic power, national security, and global influence, controlling the backbone of global communication means wielding unprecedented geopolitical leverage. Huawei's expansive satellite network, if realized as envisioned, could give China significant influence over global data flows, digital commerce, and technological innovation. It could prompt a major realignment of global digital alliances, challenging Western dominance in cyberspace, and giving rise to new digital ecosystems aligned with China's technological standards and regulatory frameworks. Beyond geopolitics, the societal implications are equally profound. For the billions of people still disconnected or underconnected, in parts of Africa, Southeast Asia, Latin America, and remote areas across the globe, this network promises more than just internet access. It offers access to education, remote healthcare, global markets, and critical public services. Entire communities could leapfrog decades of development, bypassing the need for expensive and difficult to deploy terrestrial infrastructure. Technologically, Huawei's satellites will be equipped with state-of-the-art communication systems capable of delivering terabit per second data rates, a leap forward that far exceeds current 5G capabilities. These satellites will work in concert, orchestrated by a dynamic AI system that can manage bandwidth, reroute traffic in real time, and ensure optimal performance for billions of devices simultaneously. This AI doesn't just keep the system running, it makes the system adaptive, learning from global usage patterns and responding to demand surges, natural disasters, or cyber threats in milliseconds. Security is another critical pillar of Huawei's design. In a world increasingly beset by cyber threats and espionage, Huawei's network will utilize cutting-edge encryption protocols including quantum-resistant algorithms designed to withstand the computing power of the next generation of supercomputers. 
These safeguards aim to ensure that sensitive communications, from personal data to government transmissions, remain protected, even as the threat landscape evolves. But perhaps most remarkably, this network is built not just for today's needs but for the emerging realities of tomorrow. Picture smart cities where every building, car and appliance is connected to the cloud. Autonomous vehicles navigating traffic using satellite guidance with centimeter level precision. Holographic communication that makes virtual presence indistinguishable from physical. And rural medical centers connected to the world's top specialists through high definition, zero latency video. These are not far off dreams. They are within reach, enabled by the scale, speed and intelligence of Huawei's space-based network. As the satellite internet race intensifies, it's no longer about incremental improvements or closing small gaps in coverage. It's about defining the future architecture of global communication. Starlink opened the door. Huawei is building a highway, faster, bigger, more efficient, and more deeply integrated with the intelligent systems of the future. The question is no longer whether we'll be connected. It's who will control that connection, and what values, technologies, and policies will shape its use. We stand at the dawn of a new era, one in which the sky is not the limit but the foundation. Huawei's 10,000 satellites represent more than a technological achievement. They mark the beginning of a fundamental shift in how humanity connects, collaborates, and competes. The global digital order is being rewritten, and the next chapter is being authored from orbit. Huawei's network doesn't just respond, it anticipates. A dynamic system operating in real time, adjusting itself with precision to fluctuating traffic patterns, shifting user demand, and ever-changing environmental conditions. Picture a digital nervous system. One that balances, stabilizes, and optimizes performance on the fly. In a world where data consumption grows by the second, fueled by streaming, cloud computing, autonomous tech, and industrial automation, staying ahead isn't a luxury, it's survival. Starlink continues to evolve, yes, but evolution in today's hyper-connected landscape isn't enough. The pace of change is relentless, and Huawei is not just keeping up, it's accelerating ahead. Massive investments in research and development, strategic global alliances, and a relentless pursuit of innovation have positioned it to break through the traditional barriers that once defined satellite internet. Huawei's upcoming 6G satellite network isn't just an upgrade. It's a redefinition of what connectivity means. This next-generation network could soon serve as the central nervous system of tomorrow's smart cities. Traffic systems that reroute themselves before congestion builds. Energy grids that redistribute power based on real-time usage. Emergency services that predict and respond to risks before they happen. It's a vision of cities that breathe and react, interconnected, intelligent, alive. But every opportunity comes with its counterpart challenge. As coverage scales and connections multiply, so do vulnerabilities. A global satellite web opens entirely new vectors for cyber attacks, from data interception and surveillance to system-wide manipulation. Resilience becomes not just a feature, but a necessity. The integrity of communications, the safety of user data, and the sovereignty of nations will require an unprecedented coalition of tech companies, regulatory bodies, and governments working together to protect this digital bloodstream. Cost, too, remains a crucial battlefield. SpaceX has slashed expenses with reusable rockets, democratizing access to space-based internet. But Huawei is taking a different path. Its approach emphasizes lighter, electrically propelled satellites and highly efficient solar panels, an innovation that could dramatically cut launch and maintenance costs. Lower operational expenses mean lower consumer prices. A key advantage, especially in emerging markets where cost is the primary barrier to access. And Huawei, with its vast footprint across Asia, Africa, Latin America, and parts of Europe, is uniquely placed to deliver on this promise. It's not just about hardware or bandwidth. It's about reach. Starlink may enjoy the glow of media attention, fueled by Elon Musk's high-profile persona and the spectacle of rocket launches. But Huawei is quietly laying the groundwork for something far more expansive. In regions where broadband is still a dream and digital inclusion a distant hope, Huawei is not offering luxury, it's offering lifelines. For millions, this network could be the first connection to the global digital economy. This isn't a product war, it's a geopolitical pivot. As the world inches toward digital sovereignty, many nations are rethinking their dependencies on Western technologies. Huawei's 6G satellite infrastructure offers a compelling alternative not just technologically, but strategically. For countries seeking greater control over their digital destinies, a locally integrated, affordable, and secure satellite network is more than desirable. It's transformative. And the impact? It goes far beyond faster downloads and video calls. Imagine remote communities logging into global classrooms for the first time. Surgeons in one continent operating on patients in another with robotic precision. 
farmers using satellite-linked sensors to monitor crops, predict rainfall, and optimize yields. Small businesses in rural villages joining global supply chains. Autonomous vehicles gliding through smart transportation networks with millisecond responsiveness. Logistics corridors that span continents, optimized in real time. Entire economies once disconnected from the digital flow, suddenly pulsing with opportunity. But this shift raises profound questions. As digital reach becomes truly global, who controls the flow of information? What happens when the lines between access and influence blur? With great connectivity comes great responsibility. The digital divide may no longer be about who is connected, but who holds the keys to that connection. Cultural identity, surveillance, data rights. These issues will rise to the forefront, especially as technology increasingly intersects with politics, ethics, and human rights. And yet despite the tension and complexity, the potential is staggering. If this infrastructure is implemented ethically and securely, Huawei's network could spark an era of radical inclusion, allowing billions to leapfrog outdated systems and plug directly into the future. This is no longer just about internet coverage. It's about rebalancing the digital world, giving voice and agency to those who've been digitally invisible, creating a playing field where innovation isn't limited by geography. We are on the edge of something vast, a shift not just in technology but in civilization itself. The choices we make now, the networks we build, the alliances we form, they will shape the contours of the future. Not one company, one nation, or one innovation will decide it alone. The future of global connectivity will be a collective reckoning of vision, values, and velocity. Huawei's 6G satellite network is more than a technical marvel. It's a threshold, a symbol of how far we've come and how far we can still go. So, as we look ahead, what part of this future inspires you most? The promise of real-time global collaboration? The vision of smart, responsive cities? Or the idea that a child in a remote village could access the same information as a student in a world-class university. Share your thoughts. Join the dialogue. And if this deep dive into the emerging satellite internet landscape sparked your imagination, like, comment, and tell us what you'd love to explore next. Quantum computing? The AI labor revolution? The geopolitical chess game of chip dominance? Subscribe to Revo. Be part of a global community exploring the edges of what's possible and building the next chapter of our connected world.